All right, Todd's back. It was a wet Monday and starting off yeah. as a wet Tuesday. Man, it poured. Yeah. It poured for Good a while. Good thing I canceled last. soccer practice yesterday uh, morning. Did you? Well, I saw the forecast, and yeah. obviously I trust everything you say. So I, in the morning I said, it's That's... going to pour all afternoon, no practice. And then I'm like, come on, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Please pour, and then the sky opened up at like you I mean, know, one o'clock. I mean, how many practices do you? Well, we, how many practices we've only were had you one to? practice so far. Really? The whole season we've had one. Everyone's been rained out. Have, have your games? One game. And the one. other one got rained out. Okay, so it's been a yeah. couple. So of we've weeks. had two Jeez. meetings since before Labor Day. Yeah, and even <laughs> with the sun out this afternoon, I mean, it's possible that yeah, some know. of the you know superintendents are like, yeah, you know, know what, uh, the fields are still too wet. Already thought about that. Yeah, you know, I haven't canceled yet, but I hear it's it. in my head. It so. could happen, you know, <laughs> unless there's turf. But uh, no. a lot of a lot of schools no. don't no. have turf. No, not for my kids. <laughs> no, no, no. So yes, for some it poured way more rain for a lot of communities than what we got from the hurricane over the weekend. Portland had over three inches of rain, three and a quarter, in fact. Freiburg two and a quarter, Sanford two and a quarter, Augusta an inch and a half. And then less than an inch for Bangor and Bar Harbor. It is still wet out there. We're still watching the storm move through. A lot of the coastline, though, has seen the rain come to an end. As we look at the south coast, there are just some sprinkles and a little drizzle falling in the greater Portland area. As you work your way out 302 to the Sebago Lake region, it's still raining on the light side. Lewiston, Auburn raining, Augusta, some light showers. But most of the heaviest rain is still in far northern Maine. Bangor, just some sprinkles. It's a little murky to begin. There it is, though, still coming down like heavy, heavy rainfall for our western Maine mountains heading up the Kennebec River Valley and into the western Maine foothills and mountains, too. So there's the low. It'll continue to slowly work to the north. Drier air will punch in for the afternoon. We get improvements, and this high builds in for the second half of the week. Expect nothing but sunshine for a few days, comfortable temperatures too, right around 70. Awesome late summer slash early fall weather. We'll have a little bit of an, a fall feel at times. Soaking rain will be shifting north through the morning. Clouds start breaking up too across the far south. It is a little chilly out there and a bit raw. There's still a breeze in some towns. Midday, it'll be sunniest right along the coast and across far southern areas. As you head northbound, you'll run into more clouds and some showers still lingering along the Canadian border and across the north too. Most of these will just be like some quick sprinkles or quick showers, nothing major at that point. And it'll feel warm for a while early this afternoon, but as soon as we get to the evening hours and that sun angle gets lower with the breeze coming in out of the west, it's going to feel a little crisp this evening. Temperatures today hit the mid 70s across the south, so at the height of the day, it'll feel pretty warm for Portland and York County. You go north, it's closer to 70, Lewiston, Augusta, upper 60s, Waterville, Bangor, Callis, and Bar Harbor. And then a totally different feel up in the mountains and especially across the north, where a few communities in far northern Maine do not achieve 60 today. Now the rest of the week, tomorrow and beyond, look beautiful. This high will protect us from clouds, from rain, seasonable temperatures right around 70 degrees. The air nice and dry too, no humidity problems. Over the weekend, that high holds firm for the start of the weekend. We will be keeping an eye on the tail end of the weekend. There's a chance that some of this wet weather sneaks up here for Sunday, but this is a big gale to our south. A lot of it stays to our south, it looks like, and we remain protected by this high. We'll keep an eye on things, let you know if Sunday ends up being a rainy day or just a cloudy one. Marine forecast, small crafts up, seas four to six. Northwest winds will pick up and get gusty this afternoon. And for the first time in months, the water temperature has slipped into the 50s, no longer in the 60s. So there's your seven day. We'll clear out today. It turns breezy. This afternoon's high around 70. Then it stays right around 70 degrees tomorrow, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. The next few days look beautiful. Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, all sunny days. Saturday, some high clouds will work in. That's the first day of fall. We'll see the chance for some showers on Sunday, but that is not a guarantee at this point. Early next week, partly sunny, upper 60s. It's definitely not a summer outlook there. Yeah. You know, but good weather. Real good weather. Well, and, and to be fair, we got our September summer kind of earlier in we the did. month, too. Yeah, so it was, it was real hot was really there for hot, that first so. week. Yeah. All right, sir. Thank you very much. Sure. Appreciate it.